So hey everyone and welcome back to the vlog So if you haven't seen the last uh, video that I just uploaded like I think few days ago um, For the taste test of the Oreo mooncake Yes, for that taste test, it is not um, everything that is out for the taste test, we are separating all the taste tests because all the mooncakes that is put out for sale are fresh and not preserved and we do have to like put it in the refrigerator but anyway, so today we are going we have to go to down to Orchard because I don't know whether today I can get a time slot to go into the Apple store firstly because I wanted to look at a new iPhone that is coming out secondly the my uh, Apple ID on my phone just got locked out and I can't lock back in so I think the Apple shop should be able to help and the last least because it's my day off so so the sky doesn't look very good as of today the weather the sky above is like gray and like the more of it is in the rain and at the same time I do want to stay around ne near the house but do I really want to at the same time if you know what I mean so we'll make the decision towards the time of me posting the package into the mailbox not the mailbox the in the post office and we have made our final decision is to go to orchard because first it is a sunday i don't want to be staying near the house and secondly it's nice to go out when you have your day off so if you guys are wondering how i, I decide when to vlog basically there are days when like oh i was i might be thinking saying maybe it is an exciting day to be vlogging i would do it like i will we'll go to like different places like if you have checked haven't checked out the vlogs when we went to different places in france you should go and check it out because that is one of the best places i've been to and otherwise it will be like food tasting and like like the few other uploads that i've recorded so i've decided to be posting vlogs like so let me rephrase it the reason i started recalling what i do not in a in an everyday life but um to be posting what it is like to be living in another country because not a lot of people get to be experiencing like going like traveling for vacation or like going out of the country to stay to live or like to even move to another country to like study and even have like go on trips with families because not like a lot of the families uh, don't have like first you don't really have the money to do it or the second thing is that there are families that can't take the time off because they are tight on finances not they don't have money but they're somewhat tight on finances so it does give them a goal for in the future when they have like enough to travel with family 
to go to these two countries. So we have arrived in Orchard and we are going to wait a little longer until for lunch because all the restaurants between now and one thirty is going to be packed full of people and that is one of the reasons why we will be having lunch a little later or if we find a place that has very little people inside and right now i don't know idea where we're going we're just heading around and see what we're gonna do so you have all the lanterns that is for the uh, mid autumn festival it looks like you know the uh, chinese new year lanterns oh we should head inside and see what they have that'll be interesting so we have bought the items that we need and now I am starving so we are going to find things to eat for lunch I think we are on the wrong floor uh, place so there's two dumpling place that is in my mind debating what I where I should go and there is but since I am extremely hungry I don't know whether I can make it to the top floor for lunch so we will go to the one that is on the basement one right to eat which is I think quite nice so it is 1:40 and it's pouring rain outside so we are having lunch right now because I did say earlier I am starving and we have just ordered now we are waiting for our food to come out so we are done with lunch I do need to use the bathroom and <coughs> we'll go and continue with more shopping for um, I, if you are in the US and you have heard of Vinted, I do <coughs> post a lot of new and new clothes on it. I'll link it in the bottom, in the description box below for you guys. And <coughs> it's only based in the US. So this kind of weather is terrible because the rain does come and go and it is going to be like this for the rest of the day and I'm not very happy with it because I don't want to be having to worry when is the next rainfall but the only good thing that I've noticed with this sound water is that when I am out it rain I mean when I am walking on the street, it doesn't like, rain, but when I am indoors, it pours, which I think gives me a full advantage for it. So we are going to walk past the apple shop to see if they have any time slots. If they don't, they don't, I'll come during the weekdays. I see the amount of people that we have walking on the streets. This is Neon City with Tata Shimara. And then all the Prada shops. Not all the Prada shops, right? So we are done with shopping. We got the uh, food for the fridge. And now we are going to be taking the bus back not the bus sorry the train back and I have to get dinner and like an ice tea after for the for myself for the house 
I forgot the press record. So then they do a short grocery haul from the donkey donkey shop. I got a pack of tomatoes. And I got two packs of this, which is called natos. Natos are fermented beans. But these ones are just, you can stick it into the microwave to eat. And that to heat it up. Garlic. And the last uh, oh, I got, I got minced meat. So, 4 p.m. onwards, they are trying to get rid of all the fresh meat, cooked foods, and sushi. So, they are all like, so the fresh meats are all placed under like $10 and under. So, this one that I got is the uh, Hokkaido. So, this one is the Hokkaido brand that I got, which is usually quite expensive, but now it's ten dollars